Yeah, I think the the main f- finding uh, from our study uh, could be summarized uh, this way. One is uh, studying serum of previously infected individuals or vaccinated individuals. Uh, and, and when we test the serum samples against the original strain versus the Omicron variant, we see that the serum antibodies don't work very well against the Omicron. Uh, and the drop is 20, 30, 40 fold, uh, very dramatic. Um, and then we try to understand uh, what kind of antibodies are being resisted by the Omicron variant. And it turns out that previous variants only resisted uh, s- two major classes of antibody, but Omicron resisted now all the uh, classes of antibodies directed to the spike of this virus. And then th- there are monoclonal antibodies that are being used as therapies and all of those are severely affected by uh, Omicron, and many of them completely wiped out. So treatment landscape has been altered uh, by this variant. I think expect a huge number of cases. Expect that for every 10 people you bump into, there's at least one infected. Therefore, act accordingly. I think you get your booster, get your antibodies up and hopefully better protected that way. And I would, I would think if you're indoor with a lot of other people uh, whose uh, infection status you don't know, you, you wear a good mask. I, I would wear a K, KN95 or N95 mask. Um, I think this is not the time to be cavalier. And, and then, and then the, I think I would use testing more when people do need to gather and at times be eating and taking the mask off, I would want to be sure that everybody's at least antigen negative. Um, and, and those antigen tests are fast and more affordable than PCR tests.